Hello everyone, and hope that you're doing great today. Now today we're looking at this past paper question for CSEC biology. And this question is on cells. The statement is that figure one shows the internal structures of a generalized plant cell. And the first part of the question asks us to name each of the structures labeled A, B, C, D, E, and F. And so based on the diagram, we have A being cell membrane, B being cell wall, C being cytoplasm, D is the vacuole, E is the nucleus, and F is the chloroplast. Now for the next part of the question, it asks us to differentiate between plant cells and animal cells by identifying two differences. And it said explain how each difference is important to the plant's existence. And when you're doing question in terms of differences or similarities, you can simply make a chart. And you want your answers to be very precise. You don't need to write in any long sentences, to be honest. And so for the plant cells, they have large centrally located vacuole. And for animal cell, there are many small scattered vacuoles. And for plant cells, they have a cell wall, but there's no cell wall in the animal cells. All right. And in terms of their importance, in terms of the plant's existence, for the large vacuole, it is to store water to keep the cell hydrated and also turgid. For the cell wall, it will provide protection from the harsh external conditions. You know, the plant is always there in the sun during the day. And so for that, for sure, you will prevent um, excess evaporation from the cells. So the cells will not lose as much water during the day by evaporation. All right. And of course, other factors um, such as the wind and even from animals or, say, predators, you know, the hard, the hard cell wall may protect the plant from that. All right. And for part B here is a state, the expected observation if each of the cell types plant and animal cell was placed in distilled water for 15 minutes, suggests so one reason for each observation. And so for the plant cell, it will definitely become, becomes turgid, but the shape will be the same, all right? So it will maintain its shape. And the reason for that is the presence of a cell wall, and the cell wall helps to maintain the shape and also prevent the cell from bursting, all right? And remember, the cell wall is rigid, and made up of um, a lot of cellulose, all right? And so for the animal cell, animal cell becomes turgid, that turgid as well. However, it may burst or it will burst because it's distilled water. And the process of bursting of the cell, we call it lysis, or the cell will lyse, all right? And the reason for that is that there is no cell wall as compared to the plant cell. And so there is no cell wall to maintain the shape or prevent the cell membrane from rupturing or bursting and then part two of section b here or part b is to name the process which is responsible for the observation in b1 and this process is osmosis water entering the cells all right and that is the end of the question all right hope you do well on the examination see you soon for more reviews